Rogue Throwing Knives build. I have a level 30 Rogue that I've been playing a bit on and uh, I'm gonna reset my skills so I can show you how to build it. Um, for stats you'll want to max strength, I didn't here, but you should. Uh, and for gear you want armor penetration, stamina leech, crit chance, and obviously anything that gives you damage. Uh, for your weapons you can go crit, uh, armor penetration on both by enchanting them. Uh, you can look it up on the wiki, but uh, I have a 4 preactor piercing, which is nice for clearing groups of mobs. Uh, and here I, I was just too lazy to, to do it, but you could get armor penetration on your, your daggers. You won't be using them anyway, but the stat is still good. For the gloves I got attack stamina leech. It's nice if you have attack speed like this. I have ones with uh, armor penetration, but they were already blue, so I couldn't enchant them. But yeah, attack stamina leech is important. Also, this one has stamina on kill and armor penetration. So that goes hand in hand, you need stamina. 10% increased damage with attacks. Uh, knives is considered an attack, so. And then armor penetration. The rest of the stuff I have is useless. Uh, skills. So you want to start out with these three, uh, basically max throwing daggers, uh, crit chance, and then based, uh, like damage based on your strength. So 100 strength is 80 damage, like 80% of your strength is converted into damage. And that's huge, that's how you'll scale. Uh, next you'll want to go for slice and dice for attack speed and regen. Also if you're going on hard or serious you might want to grab this uh, block chance. Uh, same with uh, evasion and uh, armor per dexterity if you're on hard or uh, again uh, serious. That might be worth it. Uh, for now I think I'll just grab evasion. Like I, I don't need to, I'm a normal but yeah. Uh, sneak attack. You deal 200% damage when the enemies haven't detected you, and you will be detected uh, less easily. This is big because you also get range from throwing knives, uh, so you'll be able to like one-shot enemies with this. Then armor penetration, of course. Uh, if you have uh, like daggers that inflict bleed or something, you could take this. Could be good for bosses, but I won't. 100% uh, extra damage on crit, that's huge, you double your crit damage. 50% uh, percent chance to one-shot enemies on low life, nice. Damage per missing health, so basically full assassin tree. Uh, other than that, I would just grab like quality of life things like, yeah, okay, lunge and movement speed. And you have some points over, well, you could go with stun, like for example, for with a concussion grenade. So you'll stun all enemies for two seconds, that could be nice. And then, some gameplay. There, the enemies had detected me already, so... Uh, I didn't do quite as much damage as I would like to, but here you see 2400, you can even deal like 3000 crits, 1500, that one had detected me. And you see my stamina is always almost full, and you'll be spamming daggers, you can go far or you can stay close. It doesn't matter because you, you put all your points into strength, so in normal you can just face tank them and, and, and still be dealing like the most damage in your party. And you see the range is quite good. It's almost as uh, as good as Rangers. Is not yet ready. And uh, since I have the pierce, I can take big big packs like this uh, out really quickly. Even without pierce, it's, it's, it's quick. Yeah. So that's it. Hope you enjoyed.